It is considered a national security alert. Push to the fact of almost treasonous. Let's talk about these two stories. We hit on it a little bit with Texas the other day, but it took a turn for the worse. We're gonna dive into that and kind of get your opinion on it, and I'm gonna let you know what I personally think about it. Then we're gonna discuss what USDA has done and they have failed to do when it comes to your farmland. The reason we prepare is because we have leadership that is not preparing for us. So therefore it takes you to do it. So let's jump into these stories today. I think both of these can be very proactive for you as someone who is wanting to live sustainable, someone who is a prepper, someone who is a homesteader. However, we can't learn to react when it's too late. So let's go ahead, let's jump in, and let's talk about these two things that this administration has done that's got deep ramifications. Let's jump into it. Today's video starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Thank you so very much for being here. It's actually really dark still. I have a busy day on the farm and also with my normal job. So I wanted to still film for you. So it's early, it's actually raining. So I hope the lighting is not too bad under our porch. Now for the stories of the day, two things. Now, Texas, we know Texas. We were happy with Texas the other day. They were holding the line when it comes to the Biden administration. Now your Supreme Court, your Supreme Court that's supposed to be the conservative leaning Supreme Court, failed us yesterday. They came in and, and agreed with the Biden administration that we should be able to cut the fence, the Biden administration that is, to cut the fence and to be on the border and protect the border. Now, the problem is they're not protecting the border. They're allowing it to be open. So what this agreement did, this this lawsuit that happened, it, it allowed the that Supreme Court allowed the Biden administration to now cut the razor wire back open at Eagle Pass so people can freely come into our country. Now that is absolutely treasonous. The whole point of a sovereign border by a federal government is because it's kept safe by the federal government. It's kept safe because it is a line basically not to cross because it's a different country. I put a fence between my, my property and the next guys. There's that's a line, it's a definitive line. What does that mean? That means that's two different areas. That's why we have fencing. So now all of a sudden, your government is wanting to cut the fence to allow people to pour in. Does that not just blow your mind? Now I'm not talking about, well, we're gonna try to protect the border and a few people will slip in. That's kind of the way they've pushed it with Democrats. Now they're aggressively pushing against a state and stating, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to enforce actually putting you in jail because you're allowing illegals not to flood into our country. Help me rationalize that. I want a Democrat to help me rationalize that because that makes absolutely no sense. And Amy Coney Barrett, she was supposed to be the, the conservative you know, juggernaut on the court, stands with the Biden administration. So SCOTUS is saying, well, you know, screw your rights as a state we're going to allow the Biden administration to do what they want to do. That's ridiculous. And I hope Texas stands up to this. I hope, again, Trump goes to the border, stands up and says, I hope 25 governors goes down to the border and stands with Abbott and says, you know what? We're going to defy this. Now, do we want civil war? No. Do we want a treasonous federal government that's allowing your country to be infiltrated? There's been several reports that says this is a national security alert. We're letting terrorists cross our borders and we're just letting it happen and texas stands up and actually does something about it because our national government wouldn't and our federal government wouldn't and all of a sudden now they're saying no we don't want texas to do it not because we're going to protect it we don't want texas to do it because we're just going to cut it open and let it flood right back in Here's a quote from Attorney General Paxton. It says, The Supreme Court's temporary order allows Biden to continue his legal effort to aid the foreign invasion of America. The invasion of America, the destruction of Texas's border barriers will not help enforce the law or keep American citizens safe. That means he is tearing down fencing that keeps America safe and sovereign. But he wants to infiltrate Texas because he wants to flip Texas and Texas become a purple state, Texas become a blue state, and therefore Texas is no longer a Republican state, which means there is never a Republican to win it. Great replacement. This fight is not over, and I look forward to defending our state sovereignty. I hope and pray that Ken Paxton and Abbott, along with 25 or 28 or however many other conservative government governors are out there, will stand and say, you know what? States' rights. 
this pe these people are non-protected and you're allowing this to just flood into our country it's like it's like honestly would you imagine can you imagine new york florida or california or any other state that's that's close and we just allow china just to dock on our shores and just walk across the border do we, we allow iran to dock on new york and just walk across uh, on our docks and just say hey we're taking over it's ours we wouldn't do that but we're allowing that to happen in the republican state of texas Andy Biggs, a uh, Republican congressman from Arizona, says Texas had, a fi had finally began to regain control of their border with Mexico. And then the Biden administration literally goes in to destroy it once more. Huge. Now, this is from Breitbart. Second story says national security risk. Investigation reveals that the Biden administration failed to track how many foreign ownership of U.S. farmland has been done in his administration. They have dropped the ball to see how many investors, how many businesses are actually has ties to the Chinese CCP, the Chinese government. Because it's showing now, everybody's starting to expose the fact that these Chinese uh, CCP party members and this Chinese government is coming in and buying our farmlands and the USDA has dropped the ball in actually finding out who owns these businesses. It's amazing when I, I have to file, I own an LLC, I own an S Corp, so I have to file that with my local Secretary of State. If I don't file that every year and tell who the principal owners are, who the principal people are and the stockholders, who is all this information, they will literally find me and they will come to my door and audit my business. However, the USDA is allowing multi-billion dollar purchases of land in America a Chinese by the Chinese Communist Party and they've dropped the ball and don't know who is actually purchasing it. Do you not see the treason and the invasion that is actually happening in America because of this administration? I mean, again, I just want someone... I would love to debate someone on the Democratic side to tell me exactly, not yelling, not screaming, not throw me all these, these talking points, but to actually tell me what value is it to allow Chinese people for the Chinese Communist Party to buy American land? Or tell me why it's important for us to cut our own sovereign border fencing to allow illegal immigrants to come in? We can't pay for the things we've got. We can't grow enough food for the people we have. Why are we doing these two things? It makes no sense. This is treasonous. You wonder why the, 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 the trending topics, let's, let's, I want to tell you the trending topics on Twitter right now, just so you're aware of the millions of people that feel just like you, feel like just like me. It says the, the things that are trending right now on Twitter or X, treason, civil war, the 10th Amendment, Governor, Governor Abbott, National Guard, unbelievable Supreme Court, SCOTUS, we are now, and this person that, that I'm quoting says, we are now reaching a breaking point because every aspect of trending topics deals with the fact the polarization of our administration with its people. You are allowing this government to come in here and take away your rights to put other people on our shores, and that is not what independence is about. That's not what freedom is about. That's not what America should be about. It's ridiculous. I'm preaching to the choir for most of you. But what are we to do? Here's what I'm saying. It comes down to this. This is why we prepare. This is why we still have uh, 1A rights, 2A rights. It, it's going to come before long where we're not going to be able to talk about it. It's going to come before long. We're going to be like all these other European countries in Australia where they can't defend themselves. It's going to come before long where we become the minority as the American citizen and we are now allowing all these nationalists and all these immigrants who are not legal to come in. But see, what the Democrats are hoping for is that it gets so over-invaded that we say, oh, we've got to take care of them. We've got to make amnesty. And you're... You, your leaders in the conservative, I hate to say conservative, your leaders in the Republican Congress will, will do a deal. Just like Langford did on the Senate side, just like Johnson has done on the House of Representatives side. They are failures. I cannot stand a spineless Republican. Please, will the true conservative stand up? I thought Clay Higgins said it well. He said they need to stand up. He was a Republican that came out and said, you know what? Texas, hold the line because you are the only ones keeping us safe. Hold the line. And I'm praying that we see more conservatives do just that, to stand up 
and do better than what we're seeing from these spineless people like Johnson, Langford, and all these others, especially the Biden administration. I hate to get, I, I, I try not to just get overtoned and mad, but it blows my mind of why we're doing this. I always try to keep a calm, cool, and collective approach, but I just don't understand it. Just like Amy Comey Barrett, standing with the Democrats on this, to, hey, let's let Biden cut the fence open. I'm just a little guy on YouTube, but I hope that someone will pass this along and say, Texas, stand your ground. Governor, grab your other governors that could be friends to you that has a spine, and you tell them to come to Texas, and y'all stand tall. Also, talk to Tr President Trump. Let him get down there and say, you know what, stand up for us. I think that's going to show a strong, strong push to this administration that is literally allowing your country to be invaded. They're committing treasonous acts and we're allowing our lawmakers and our Supreme Court just to back it. Unbelievable. Who's looking out for you? Only you. So it takes you being prepared. It takes you making smart decisions and protecting your family because the government is not doing that. Let me know your thoughts. I pray that you have a wonderful day. We are overwhelmed with bad news, but always know that if you can be the light, you're going to shine and you're going to influence people to do better. God bless. Happy homesteading.